Hi everyone, it's Paranite speaking, and in this tutorial, I will walk you through how to use some of the methods in the Skills API. Now, the first thing you want to do is create a new skill. So I'll call this skill damage, something something generic, you know. Make it extend. skill and then you'll notice it tells you it needs to implement a whole load of methods so you let that auto generate those and let's go through them one by one the first one is pretty self-explanatory get name just put in the name of your skill now this is a stupid name obviously but it's just an example get type currently has no function except it's just cosmetic so you have um, um, any type you like, and of course you can always check these from wherever you want. Get description, any string you like. Um, Alright, now there's one important thing about this is that in the GUI, the description will come up in the tooltip when you, when you put your mouse over a skill but you don't want the string to drag out too much. So if you want to go to a new line, just put in a backslash n. And this backslash n will mean that over here it goes to a new line and this is on the second line. And the tooltip box will expand accordingly to how many lines you have. Get texture path. I've already downloaded a little 16 by 16 PNG from the internet of this face. So I'll have that as my texture path backslash forward slash rage.png the mana cost the entire mana bar is 20 so I'll have this take a quarter of it 5 get charge up time let's make it 5 seconds get cooldown time let's make that 10 seconds get duration let's have no duration for this so it just runs once um, can player learn skill Normally this is true, but it's you, you, of course you can have any sort of any kind of conditions you want in there. Um, can player use skill? Now, an area this would be useful is, for example, if your skill consumes a certain item like an arrow, then you could check the player's inventory to see if the arrow is in there, and then in on skill trigger, you would then consume the arrow, and have the skill trigger. So I want this skill. And I have I want it to return true to signify that it has indeed triggered and you can um, use up the mana that you need for this skill. So I want to make the player take damage, for example. You can access the instance of the Minecraft game from anywhere within this class, and I can access the player, and I can make the player take damage from nothing. and lose 5 health. And then I want the player to say ouch. And the username. All right. On tick while active only goes for skills that have a duration. If your skill has no duration, this method will never run, so I'll just keep it empty. And on skill end, same thing, duration. This skill has no duration. Okay, now there's one more thing you can do, which is if you look inside skill.java, the skill class, you'll see that there's this method, get name color. You can override this method and change the color of the name, but honestly, anything but white doesn't really look that good, so you might as well just keep it as white. And yeah, that's all there is to it. So now you want to register your skill. So what I'm going to do is go to anywhere in the game and have this and access this method here.
called register skill. And you give it a new instance of your skill. Uh, we called ours damage, that's right. Um, completely uncreative name. And then anywhere within your game, at any event, you can have the player learn the skill by accessing the method learn skill. Now there are another number of useful methods you can access, including is skill active and is skill known, self-explanatory, as well as trigger skill. So you could have an item on right click, trigger a skill. Okay, so let's do learn skill and give it its name, damage. This corresponds of course to this here. So now the game loads player immediately learns your skill called damage and we've already registered it so let's give it a shot a couple of things all the skills you know and all the skills in your skill bar see now now we know that we just learned the skill all of these will 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 save so you won't learn it every time so right now I can I can close my game open it up again and it's still there. As well as your skill bar, it will remain preserved when you log off. So I can put this anywhere I want in the skill bar. And if I trigger it with Z in this case, it will charge up for five seconds, hurt the player, make him say ouch, and cool down. If it had a duration, it would also show off uh, which active skills um, you have currently running over here. And the player's name is player284 because obviously this is MCP and not the actual game. And that's all there is to it. Now since this mod uses the player API anyway, you might as well have the player learn skills on certain uh, certain events like killing a creeper or uh, jumping from a certain height or dying, getting killed by something. And you can, al you can always use the player API for that, so have something that extends player base. And if you learn how to use the player API, then it can prove very useful. So the next tutorial will be looking at other skills, more advanced kinds of skills. And thank you for watching.